How's it going guys? My name is Ahmed Billa. Um, I'm Abdi's son. I just wanted to do a, a video on behalf of the LaPet Foundation Forum and talk to you a little bit about running for him. So the biggest thing with, with running, and it's kind of funny to say, is your arms actually. So when you're running, you want to have a nice arm carry. And the most important thing is imagine there's a line running straight down your torso. You don't want to cross over and be here. You don't want to be here. You want to naturally come toward the center, but you don't want to cross over this line right here. So the arm carry and the arm swing is very important. And you want to make sure your elbows are tucked, not rubbing your like your, you know, the side of your torso, but just tucked in in a natural position, not necessarily touching. There's a little bit of space there. And you want to be right here, nice and smooth. Right now, I'm gonna give you guys a quick example of how your arm carry should look when you're running. So another very important key to running form is your posture. You want to make sure you're nice and tall, but you know, it's a bit unnatural to be too straight. So you don't want to do that because when you're running, the most efficient thing is a slight lean forward because you want to be leaning in the direction you're going. That's just physics and that's how you get a nice rhythm. But you don't want to be, you don't want to be here and you don't want to be way too straight or even tilted backwards. And you tend to go back when you've got lactic acid, especially if you're a competitive athlete. You just want to be at a nice level. You don't want to be leaning too forward. You don't want to be leaning back. Just a slight tilt. And you want to be nice and tall. Roll your shoulders back a little bit. And once you're nice and tall and that happens, your hips are going to open up. If you lean forward and you start to cave in a little bit, your hips aren't going to be, your hips are going to close off. And you're going to cross that symmetrical line I was talking about when we discuss the arm carry. So all these things work together and help create efficient running form. So now I'm gonna give you guys a little example of how your torso uh, should look and how your posture should be when you're running. The next very important thing is your foot strike and where your foot lands. So you want to make sure you're getting a nice midfoot strike. You don't want to heel strike because the heels are essentially the brakes and you don't want to have a stride and then come down on the brakes every single time. It's just not efficient. But uh, a nice midfoot strike is exactly where you want to be. When you're racing and running faster or doing interval training, then you want to get more up on the, the balls of your feet. But when you're just doing a casual jog, you just want to have that nice midfoot strike. You don't want to really get up on your toes. Uh, you might get sore. Um, if that's your natural position, then hey, more power to you. So I'm going to give you guys a few examples of uh, how your foot should land when you're jogging. And yeah, follow me. When running, it's important to have smooth turnover. That's the next key thing I want to talk about. And your turnover is going to be affected by the pace you run at. So your cadence, which is how many steps you take per minute, is going to change depending on whether you're running at mile pace, goal, marathon pace, 5K pace, 10K pace. But no matter what pace you're running, you want to have a smooth running economy, you want to have a nice stride length, and you want to have a smooth turnover. And that's going to make for a better rhythm, which is going to make for a better race, run, competition, all of that. So I'll give you guys a few examples running at different paces, and you can see how the turnover rate and the cadence um, change, but also it's going to be smooth regardless. You want to make sure you look good and feel good no matter what pace you're running at. All right, here we go.
So that was a little bit of a slower pace. That was more maybe 10K to marathon pace. So you notice my knees aren't really coming up too high. It's still a very fluid motion, but it doesn't look like a, a sprinter's run because that turnover rate and that cadence is gonna be insane. So right now I'm gonna go a little bit faster. This is probably gonna be more of a, a mile pace. And then at the end, I'll do something that's closer to a sprint and you can notice the difference. So that clip is a little bit faster uh, of a pace. My knees were being driven a little bit more, but uh, you never want to sacrifice your form for pace. As a matter of fact, the faster you go, the more tight and technical your form should be. So on this last one, I'm gonna do something closer to a sprint, and I'm gonna try and keep my, my posture nice, my shoulders relaxed, I'm not gonna cross over. I'm gonna probably be closer to a, a toe strike uh, instead of midsole, and yeah. Uh, I'm gonna tie all those things we've been talking about today together and it should culminate in a nice, tight, quick turnover, fast cadence uh, and a sprint. So all in all, uh, you can tie these things together and really improve your running form, your running economy and make things more enjoyable because when you're when you're looking good, you're feeling good, the run becomes easier, you feel better, and ultimately uh, it'll help you improve toward your goals, no matter what they are, if it's competitive racing, if it's just running for fun, uh, running is gonna be a lot easier once you nail all these things that we talked about today. Uh, thank you to the LaPet Foundation, and go and get active, guys.